Okay. That is exactly why I turned on the camera. All right. Welcome to the Ryman vlog. My name is Ryan. You're joining me today out here in Davenport, California, trying to get revenge, trying to catch a meal out of the Pacific Ocean, trying not to bug these birds over here, trying to accomplish a lot of things. I've been getting skunked. And so basically what I want to use this video for is uh, just to kind of show you some clips of uh, the calamity I've been dealing with. Uh, out here on the West Coast, we've been having some horrible weather. And uh, well, here you go. Uh, here's just a couple uh, what I thought were some funny clips of me uh, getting skunked. Enjoy. I don't know about technique. Uh, if anybody's ever done this before, if you're, if you're watching, you know, let me know what, what's... Ah stuck I was gonna say what's a solid technique uh, for uh, fishing off the rocks here it's like I came up oh, came loose came loose now I'm I'm stuck again I'm trying to do this without getting too close but looks like I don't have much of a choice Whoa, this rock moves, this rock moves. All right, hang on, I'm gonna wait for a calm set. Well, there's a boat, there's a dinghy. Look at this, what is going on here? There's a dinghy just hanging out here by the jetty. What? Do you see that? Oh, there's otters too. There's an otter poking his head up like, what is that? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on is is right, Mr. Otter. I don't know. I know that my my line is stuck and I gotta get it. Okay. So we're back down here on the beach. And what we're gonna try to accomplish right now is we're gonna try to catch some live bait. That's right. We haven't been able to be successful. We haven't been successful uh, catching any fish with our lures. And so what I have here is my, my uh, shrimp pot. I've got one half of my shrimp pot and I've got some nylon rope on a spindle here. Now, if you haven't seen my fishing gear video, uh, the video gear that explains the fishing gear, the minimum fishing gear that I am uh, working with, go ahead and check out that video. It's like video number three or something like that. Anyways, we're gonna take this and we're gonna see if we can't we're gonna take this and see if we can't catch any sand crabs in this surf. We're gonna throw this guy out there, see if he drags up some sand, and it should, uh, it should funnel out uh, uh, sand and water and collect us some sand crabs if they're down there. Really what we wanna look for are bubbles in the sand, and I don't see any necessarily, but that doesn't mean that they're not down there. So let's see if we can't do this. All right, let's get some slack on the rope. We're gonna throw it out there. I usually do this with weights. Or excuse me, I've never done this before at all, actually. Let me just throw this out there. Oh, all right, that wasn't enough slack. I can throw it a lot more than that. All right, we're just gonna let that slack go out there. We're gonna let that little pot kinda chill in the water and see if he catches anything. Let's see if we can't, let's see if the wave will come up, or well, actually, see if I can't throw it out there more. Now that I've got some uh, leeway here, we've got some time. Here we go. All right, got a good toss there. Well, run, 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 run. Running, running, running. Ryan's really running. Trying not to get claimed by the ocean. All right, so we got our line. Gonna let it uh, do its thing for a moment, for a uno momento. Pull. There's a bird out there. He's a lonely little bird. I don't know what he's doing or if he's get. Whoop. All right, here we go. Okay, it got really light, and I don't think this is working, guys. I saw somebody doing something similar to this. Definitely not this, but I saw somebody doing something like this. got to be away 
I mean, I know there are sand crabs. There are sand crabs on this beach. I know this for a fact. Ah, there's one. Or a sand flea. I keep saying sand crab, but it's sand flea. It's not very big. Let's see. Is it coming out the bottom? Hang on. Thing is, oh, there's one. There's one. Here we go. Right. Oh, he's broken. Come on, man. Do you see him? Little sand flea. It's just a piece of him, though. He's broken. I don't think I did that. Come on, any more? There was, there was some in there. You saw it. There's one. Oh, he's so small. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna catch some and uh, off camera and we'll see what happens. All right, look what we got here, boys. Or boys and girls, excuse me. Hey, you know, I actually looked at my analytics and uh, it says that 9% of my views have been from female viewers. And that was surprising, to be honest. Well, welcome aboard, ladies. This is the Ryman vlog where we're trying to accomplish something out here in the outdoors and uh so i i was out there and i got myself some little bitty sand crabs you see this big chunker right here yeah i'm gonna put him on a hook and throw him in see if he catches anything all right stay tuned all right there we go now these guys can go ahead and piggyback their way through life as we cast them out into the ocean and try to catch something here we go all right here we go hungry surf perch here we go That's what we're looking for. We're gonna throw this out right now. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. All right, here we go. We're looking for a hungry surf perch that wants these little sand fleas on the end of my hook right here. Uh, I casted it out once and I screwed up. I didn't want to get that on camera, but I think I lost, I think I lost the little guy already. Well, here we go. We still got the big guy on there. Let's throw him out nice and graceful like. All right, he's out. He's going. He's going. He's he's in the water. Come on, come on, fishy. Let's do it. Come on. We got a different bait on the end of our line now. And if there are some finicky fish out there who just want to look, oh, well, that didn't work. Oh, oh, don't want to get hooked. Don't want to get hooked. As you can see, we got skunked. The bait's gone. About something. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let's get some. There's something. I, I grab. I got another line here. I got another line. What is this? What is this? Oh my gosh! This is. This is my four, this is my 40 pound braided line. This is my 40 pound. Oh my gosh, I just pulled it right out of the sea. I'm still pulling it. Oh my gosh, I got my weight back. I got my rig back. Oh my God, what are the chances of that guys? Oh my God, wait, let me set this down real quick. Hang on, hang on. Don't bail on me just yet. Hang on a second, hang on. We got, we got like, uh, we got like uh, 400 feet or more of a, a braided line coming back out of the, out of the water. I still got my, I still got all my, uh, my secondary set here. Let's follow this line. Follow me. Let's go. Let's get it. Pull it. Don't let the, don't let the, oh wow. There's more of it. There's more. It's coming. Oh wow. I got the hook back. I got the, I got the weight back. The weight that I wanted. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hook this guy up again. I'm gonna put all this back on there. Look at this. Look at this. I got everything back. I even got the bait. It looks like something's been chewing on it. I got the weight. All right. Woo! Just when you think you fail. Just when you think that you're, uh, you don't have a chance in the world and you keep fumbling and failing, all of a sudden, the ocean hands you something back. What are the odds of that, right? All right, let's get back at it. Yeah, call me easily amused, but I am very happy that I got this back. 
this setup this is a once in a life there's a lot of once in a lifetime experiences i experienced in my life and that was definitely one of them here we go oh oh no oh boy uh climbing up onto this rock don't know if it's a good idea at all all right uh so far not dead okay let's stand up over here uh this looks really bad uh i don't want to do this uh, hmm i wonder oh boy well let me throw it out a couple times see what happens oh okay well okay that was dangerous that was dangerous that that rock that rock just totally moved underneath me all right that was dangerous um I don't know if it's gonna do that again. Let me step down a little bit on this rock down here. All right, I, okay, I think this is good enough. Let me get a cast out. This is so stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm all alone. All right. Right out there in front of the jetty. I got a wide stance really wide wider than i want it got waves all right here's a look from this tower this number three tower we're not getting too close to the edge but that's pretty pretty far enough there's a bird right there i don't want to hit him but there are these rocks here to protect a little bit um i don't know what i'm gonna do i guess i'll have to hide behind the pole if uh if a wave comes i'm just gonna throw it out a couple times let me swing around Oh, this ain't any better. Here we go. Here we go. Right between the birds. Right between them. I'm watching for waves. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm going to be making my way back towards my bucket. Uh, I know there's probably guys that would come out here that wouldn't think anything of it. But I'm really inexperienced and I'm all by myself. So... I'm a little bit smarter than that, yet here I am. Oh. Whoa, I'm pulling on something. I got, I got something on my line. What is, it must be kelp, uh, something heavy. I don't think it's a fish. Let's find out guys. Let's see what's on the end of the line. It might be a bunch of mussels. Maybe I snagged a bunch of mussels we could use as bait. Wow, what? It's huge. Whatever this is, is huge. It's like if it was a fish, this would be like a month, a month's worth of fish. This is a bunch of mussels, I think. I think. It's not moving, so it's not a fish. It's not flopping around. Let's see what we got here. Wow, oh my God. What? Dude, dude, <clears throat> dude, are we fishing for mussels? Oh my God, should I take all these home? They're huge. How, how did I, do you see this? Do you see this? Look at this, look at this, look at this. What, is this even legal? I don't even know what's going on here. What, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. Right. Okay, so it's about 3.30 in the p.m. Uh, we've lost our last uh, two-ounce weight. Uh, we were doubling them up. We've lost all of our weights, maybe like half a dozen or more. And uh, we're packing it up. We're calling it a day. We got leftover bait. And uh, we're going to have to restock and re-spool this reel. Uh, we're going to really have to uh, dial it down if we're going to uh, come out here and attempt to catch fish uh, with such uh, raging tides and, and sets of waves. I uh, really got to be geared up properly and uh, from now on I'm only going to get the most essential gear that's going to take to uh, fish here on the Pacific Coast. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, blooper reel and uh, watching me get my uh, 
my butt handed to me. Getting my butt kicked out here in Davenport, Moss Landing, uh, Capitola, Santa Cruz, you name it. I'm out here, I'm getting my butt whooped. And uh, it's about time to go uh, in search of a, a real meal, uh, not from the sea. Uh, go ahead and comment down below. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, we are definitely going to keep this adventure going. We're going to try for more. We're going to experiment more and uh, see if we can't catch ourselves a meal uh, out here on the West Coast. Uh, my name is Ryan. This is the Rye Man Vlog. Thanks for watching. You guys have a, a decent night. <laughs> Have a good night.